Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can clean clothes and remove stains inside of GIMP. So on this white t-shirt there are four very obvious stains of different colors and shapes. And in order to remove these, there's two really good tools to use for this, which are the cologne tool, which is what we'll be primarily using. And then later on the healing tool will be good for cleaning up small areas where there still may be a few issues. So the idea is generally we use the clone tool to copy color and texture from an area which is clean and then copy that onto an area where it's not clean at all, basically where the stains are, and it will overwrite that. Now there's a couple caveats here. Since we are using the clone tool, it's going to copy it exactly as it is in the source area to the destination area. So that means anything you try to copy, like a crease here, it's going to show up, so you have to be careful. Generally you want to copy from a flat area in order to correct the color on a flat area. So to use the clone tool, we select it from the tools window, you hold control down, and then you left click in order to set a clone source. So I'm going to set my source over here in this very flat white area, and we can copy that color over to where we have a stain. So just by kind of going like this, uh, we can almost immediately see a vast improvement. Now, I'm intentionally doing this. You notice when the source area goes over the, uh, the red line there, that that gets copied too. So you do have to be careful about exactly what you're copying. Now, you don't have to do everywhere from one source. You can maybe grab some from down here and use that to correct the color here. Just try to be careful that you don't make it too obvious that it was cloned here. So one issue you might run into is that over here the shirt color is kind of more of a gray and then the copied source area is a lot more white. So we could actually undo that and a better option might be to source from right above here and then to copy that down like this. So generally try to just make the color look relatively consistent. And if you can't get it 100%, that's okay. We'll work on that in just a moment. So another tool we have available to us is the blur tool. So in order to make this look a little bit more realistic, we can use the healing tool. And we set an area like over here as the source. And then if we start trying to draw over here, it'll try to correct this white to make it a little bit more of a consistent gray color. So kind of just drawing this down a bit help smooth out the lines a lot. Uh, as an alternative, you could also use blur, which will remove some of those hard edges where it just goes from white to gray immediately and make it more of a transition. But in any case, that stain is pretty much taken care of. We'll worry about the extra red line in a little bit. So for this one, I'm going to definitely source from the bottom right. And we can just kind of draw over this very, very fast. Now, if you have a more complicated uh, piece of clothing, it probably will be a little bit more difficult. You'll have to spend longer on it. Uh, it's just pretty simple here because it's a flat white shirt. There's not really too much to say. Just in the end, what we're going for is that the color changes, but with those last little remnants you see here, we try to smooth those out and uh, make it completely consistent. So I'm also going to use the healing brush tool here, sourcing down here where it's white. And I'm just going to kind of brush over those areas where there's still some little bits remaining. Now we can also use the healing brush on smaller areas like this. Eh, well, it kind of worked, but not entirely. So what we could do is actually do the healing brush a second time. Generally, it kind of self-corrects. If you do it enough times, it'll get rid of it. Uh, there's still like a little bit of a red tint, so if you really want to be good about it, you can keep going till it's all gone. Just kind of zoom out, make sure that the color is relatively consistent. If not, you can uh, pick a gray spot and use the healing brush to make it a little bit more consistent. You could alternatively uh, just use the clone tool as well. But you can see how that becomes a little less smooth. It's like pretty obvious that you use the clone tool. So using the healing brush in combination with that or blurring it out will probably give you a better result in the end. So let's use the clone tool one more time and we'll just get rid of this red stripe very easily. Probably need even less uh, healing brush with that because that's just such a simple change. And for this last stain, we can just use the clone tool again. With this one, we might need to actually use some uh, healing brush or blur. 
But hopefully by now you kind of get the general idea. So the stains are gone. Now we just need to kind of make the color a little bit more consistent. Another decent option for cleanup might be the smudge tool to kind of smear some of these edges away and make it really hard to notice that they were originally there. But in any case, all of the stains have been removed. It's relatively hard to tell that there were originally stains there. So that's pretty much all there is to cleaning clothing and removing stains inside of GIMP. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future video content.